everyone. Okay, so this week's episode is coming on the heels of this crazy heat wave that much of the country has just endured. My question for you is, are you a hot sleeper? Meaning, do you find you have temperature issues throughout the night? I know I do, and so does my partner in crime. So I'm gonna share with you what I know about this issue and the one device that's been a game changer for us. Okay, so one of the very cool things about the human body is our ability to control our internal body temperature. We all know that 98.6 degrees is the standard for normal body, body temperature, but did you know it's actually just the starting point for your body's internal temperature? From there, it actually fluctuates by a couple of degrees over the course of the day, rising about one to two degrees from early morning until late afternoon, and then reversing until it hits its lowest point a couple hours before you wake up the following morning. When your temperature is on the rise, you're most likely to feel alert and awake. When it's falling, you're likely to feel drowsy. So temperature is a very important part in determining when we fall asleep. However, something I did not know until I did my research is that when we are in the deeper cycles of sleep, such as REM or the dream state, our brain temperature regulating cells literally switch off because even the hypothalamus needs a break every so once in a while. So since the brain basically stops doing its whole awesome temperature regulating thing at certain points in the night, this is why it's so important that the external factors in your sleep environment, such as your room temperature, your clothing, your bedding, are so important. If your brain can't know to cool itself down, you have to make sure your external environment is set up to do it for you. Falling temperatures cue the onset of sleep and help you sleep more soundly. In fact, lowering skin temperature by just one degree Celsius can reduce middle of the night arousals and early morning waking. However, conversely, if the body is too hot, it simply will not fall into the deeper levels of sleep. This could be the reason why you feel like you were in bed for plenty of hours, but still are still exhausted in the morning. You simply may not be getting enough deep sleep. The ideal temperature for falling asleep is between 60 and 67 degrees Fahrenheit. I know, colder than I thought, but I suggest you play around and find the temperature that works best for you. It should be cool enough to help you fall asleep without waking up a few hours later shivering, but without being too warm to cause you to wake up from sweating. But as most couples can attest to, the temperature you keep the thermostat at in your house is likely an ongoing battle. In our case, we have a slightly different issue in that we only have one thermostat that controls multiple rooms. So it's very hard to keep all rooms at the optimal temperature. So as a result, we've invested in a little product that has helped us deal with being hot sleepers. Check it out. Okay, so here is the device that was a serious game changer for me and Matt. All right, it's called the Bedjet and Unfortunately, it's not the most attractive setup, but it has helped us so much when it comes to sleep that for us, it's worth it. So it's got a device that goes underneath the bed and then it has this tube that comes up and then it comes with this sheet, okay? And the sheet has holes in all different sections so you can put it wherever you want. We wanted it more central so that the, um, the airflow affects both of us. So you put the sheet over this nozzle thing here, all right, and you pull it down. And then you just use an app on your phone and you hit cool. You can set it to whatever level you want and then watch this, watch what happens. As the air starts to go in, it blows air in the whole sheet like that. Yes, it's amazing. So it blows air over you all night in between the two layers of the sheets. Now you can put blankets on top of this. In fact, it actually works better with a little bit of weight on top of it. But as you can see, it just fills this uh, sheet um, with air and it just pumps over you all night. You can change the level at which it's blowing and you also can make it uh, blow warm air if you are a cold sleeper. That is not our problem. But this thing is a game changer. It has helped us so much. So there you have it. We love this thing. And if you struggle with body temperature when you sleep, this could be a great device to fold into your world. Because as we discussed before, our body cannot sleep deeply if it's too hot. And we need those deeper cycles of sleep to repair our bodies physically and our brains cognitively. And by the way, I know some of you are thinking, if cooling body temperature down is going to help me sleep, then how come they're always saying to take a hot bath or shower before bed? Well, here's the answer. It may seem counterintuitive since soaking in warm water initially 
initially raises your temperature, but when you get out of the shower or tub, your skin cools down as you dry off and the water from your skin evaporates. This cooling down process sets the stage for sleep, but try to do this a good 60 to 90 minutes before bed so that your body temperature has a chance to drop enough before you jump under the covers. In the blog post, I've included a link to this BedJet device so you can check it out for yourself. I've also included the link to my cheat sheet on other reasons you may not be sleeping as well as you could. Body temperature is in fact one of those issues, um, but there are plenty of other reasons that you may not be sleeping as well as you could. So check out those links in the blog post, and I hope this helps you become a better sleeper if in fact this is an issue for you or your partner. Have a healthy day, and as always, thanks for watching.